Hi my dear students, welcome back to my class. Hope everyone are fine. KSEEB in the release module one the science model question paper na answers na discuss maadta idini. So in previous video I had discussed model answers for chemistry. If you have not yet watched that video, adhra link in the description box na li kotar thini. Don't forget to watch. And nini na dhru idhe model ne baarege nana channel na visit maadta idhre. Do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification for your SSLC exam oriented videos and guidance. Without delaying much, let's start today's video. So in this video, I'm discussing the biology model answers. So the first question is the plant hormone that causes the wilting of leaves. See, there are totally four plant hormones, otherly three growth promoters and one growth inhibitor. See, wilting of leaves is nothing but the falling of leaves. So falling and stopping, all these are the functions of abscisic acid. Remaining cytokinin, auxin and gibberellin. So they will help in growth of the plant. So when it comes to stopping the growth of plant or falling the leaves of plant. So abscisic acid help. Abscisic acid in maadate help maadate. So here the right answer is option C. So moving to next question. The correct sequence of reproductive stage occur in flowering plants is and the heli dare. So flowering plants nalli reproduction aagbe kaadare vandu sequence irate what will happen so first and foremost reproduction aagake we need the gametes so gametes annodu first elli ide you have to identify option a nalli ide option b nalli ide so gametes en madutte they fuse they combine male gamete female gamete fuse aagutte as a result of it next to form aaguvantadu zygote so zygote irantadu option a nalli so option d will become disqualified. So gametes fuse to form zygote. Zygote develop again agate embryo agate and embryo result in the seed. So here the right answer is option A. This is a correct sequence of reproductive stages occur in the flowering plants. So moving to next question. The site of complete digestion of carbohydrates, proteins and fats happens in so complete digestion and tabantakshna the right answer is small intestine because small intestine is called as a site of complete digestion stomachally complete digestion agala and large intestine receives the undigested food liver add the secretions while digestion of food take place so here the right answer is option d small intestine the next question is the unfertilized egg of human female contains and the kelidarins. See unfertilized egg contain half the number of chromosomes. So heredity and evolution lesson and utilko nilandre. I have posted that video. Please watch it. Unfertilized egg nirate half the number of chromosome. Nirate. Basically, human female contain XX chromosome. Unfertilized egg contain half the number of chromosomes. That means it contain only one X chromosome. So here the right answer is option B. It contain only one X chromosome. So moving to next question. So now it is time to know the one mark questions. See the folding up of leaves of a sensitive plant that is touch me not plant on touching with the finger is not a tropism why and the kelti dare see ee question ana nodadaga see we have learnt about growth dependent movement and growth independent movement illi the folding of leaves in a sensitive plant on touching is not a tropism yake andre it is because it is a non directional movement so it is non directional movement it is not focusing towards the touch Okay, so tropism is a directional movement. So now phototropism, geotropism, hydrotropism, they all are showing the movement with respect to light, water or chemicals. But in touch me not plant, it does not happen. So it is non-directional movement. So tropism is nothing but movement where the direction of movement of plant part towards the stimulant take place. But touch me not plant is not the directional movement. It is a non-directional movement movement so moving to next question what are analogous organs guns see analogous organs are defined as the organs which have the different structure but they perform the same function take an example as wings of birds and also the butterfly see butterfly and bird they both look different structure wise they both look different but they perform the same function that is why they are called as analogous organs 
analogous organs homologous organs both are important you want to know that moving to next question it is from our environment lesson what is the role of decomposers in ecosystem anta kelidare see decomposers em madutte they break down the complex organic substances into the simpler substances okay so if any organism die what happen they have to undergo decompose adu decompose aagbeku so that job been been done with the help of decomposers so this decomposers they break down the complex organic substances into simple substances okay and since decomposers help in decomposing the dead plants and animals they are also called as a cleansing agent of the environment adana now cleansing agent of environment anta kuda heltivi i hope you understood this answer so for this you will get one mark moving to next question why are traits acquired during the lifetime of an individual is not inherited see traits acquired during lifetime take an example change of your hair color or building your body muscles they are all happening during your lifetime so if you build muscle it is not that your son or son is also going to get the same character okay so whatever happens during your lifetime nimma lifetime alli aguvanta changes nimma lifestyle okay it may be the loss of the parts consumption habits or anything okay new corrections maadkolbodu by go undergoing the plastic surgery so that will be not carried to your children so hence acquired traits are not inherited because they are the changes that takes place in the non reproductive tissues i hope you understood this concept that non reproductive tissues means the tissues which undergo the reproduction okay so any changes that acquired during the lifetime will not be carried to next generation because they are not inherited so moving to next two mark question draw the diagram showing the structure of nephron and label the bowman's capsule anta kotidare for two marks you must draw nephron and you have to label the bowman's capsule see ನಾನು ನೆಫ್ರಾನನ್ನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ತುಂಬ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಬರಿಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅದರ ಲಿಂಕನ್ನು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತೀನಿ ಡೂ ಲರ್ನ್ ನೆಫ್ರಾನ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡ್ರಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲೇಬಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದ ಬೌಮನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಸ್ಯೂಲ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎನಿ ಟೂ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಬಯೋಡಿಗ್ರೇಡಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾನ್ ಬಯೋಡಿಗ್ರೇಡಬಲ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ very simple guys see biodegradable means that will degrade easily it will easily mix up with the soil okay non biodegradable means which will not easily mix up with the soil see biodegradable biodegradable substances do not cause pollution whereas non biodegradable they cause pollution so next point these substances decompose naturally in the environment that means they will mix up easily with the soil and whereas non biodegradable they will not decompose naturally in the environment next examples for biodegradable take an example all the natural substances like dry plants waste dry leaves flowers straws animal excreta all these can be easily mix up with the soil that is where they are biodegradable whereas chemicals paints plastic metals they won't mix up with the soil hence they are non biodegradable so moving to next nodi ee question alli one option kuda kottidare either you can attend this writing biodegradable or non biodegradable or you can choose this write a grassland food chain and name the different tropic levels in it and the kelidare you want to label the different tropic levels next answer na nodadaga grass is eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by frog frog is been eaten by snake snake is been eaten by vulture so then you define mark be here the plants are the producers so the grass represents the first tropic level moving to next grass is been eaten by the grasshoppers so grasshoppers ena agutte they are the primary consumers that means the first consumers okay so next this is a second tropic level moving to next this grasshopper is eaten by the frog so frog comes under secondary consumers which is represented in the third tropic level and frog is been eaten by the snake which comes in the tertiary consumers which comes in the fourth tropic level so next vulture en agutte fifth tropic level alge barutte understand so en agutte first producers comes in the first tropic level 
so the one which is going to eat the producers or the one who's going to depend on the producers are called as consumers so they are the primary consumers which come in the second tropic level and it goes on idu tumbane simple answer you can understand very easily so next question kelidare write the flow of energy in ecosystem so next question the flow of energy in an ecosystem is unidirectional see ಎನ್ವಿರಾನ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಒಂದೇ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆದಂಥ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ನಾವು ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಈಟನ್ ಅಪ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಾಪರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಾಪರ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಂಥ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೇ ವೇ ಡೂ ದ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದೇ ಗಾಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಹಾಪರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ದ energy received to grasshopper will not go to the sun return okay so why because the energy the flow of energy is unidirectional i'm conveying this answer in a very simple way okay you can take any example so the flow of energy is unidirectional we look at the answer see an ecosystem is a network of living beings related to non living beings of their environment which is interacting as a system okay so here the energy enters to the plants through the photosynthesis and through the sun okay which is happening while making the food will not be passed back to the sun and this energy then passes to the tropic levels like primary consumers secondary consumers tertiary consumers pass aata hogute so the energy moves progressively energy enagutte one tropic level inda innond tropic level ge move aata hogute and this will not return back to the sun so that energy in an ecosystem is unidirectional very simple so moving to next three marks question compulsory na nimge helide scoring package nalli life process nalli you must know the schematic representation they they may ask schematic representation or they may ask what are the products you get during the aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration anta helide so here you have to write the flow chart of the breakdown of glucose okay by the various pathways in the cytoplasm see glucose it break down in cytoplasm as a pyruvate so this pyruvate in the absence of oxygen it releases ethanol carbon dioxide and energy and this takes place in the yeast and in the lack of oxygen in the muscle cell it releases lactic acid and energy and in the presence of oxygen it releases carbon dioxide water and energy and this happens in mitochondria ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನು ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಡೂ ವಾಚ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಮಾಡಲ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನಲ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದ ಫುಡ್ ಪೈ stomach is a first of all a large organ which expands when the food enters it it's a large muscular organ okay so it help in mixing the food very fastly with the help of digestive juices and digestion in the stomach take care by some of the gastric glands present in the wall of stomach so the gastric glands idunu kuda very neatly i had explained in scoring package see the gastric glands like the hcl mucus and also pepsin okay so what happened this hcl so this releases in the stomach to kill the germs okay and this hcl also enable the protein digesting enzyme called pepsin okay which help in breaking down the proteins and hydrochloric acid which is released i told you just now it creates a acidic medium this help in killing the germs present in the stomach and also it help in en- uh, enabling the actions of enzymes like pepsin present in the stomach and i told you mucus is also there see mucus protects the inner lining of stomach because hcl enagutte it corrode the wall of stomach it damage the wall of stomach so to prevent that mucus is helping the wall of stomach so this is what happen in the stomach so complete agi explain maadidini do watch the scoring package the next question explain the human male reproductive system see when we look at the human male reproductive system you want to write the functions of it see when we look at the functions first of all human male reproductive system it consists of testis 
scrotum, epididymis, vas deferens, sperm duct, seminal vesicles, prostate gland and penis. So functions of each. See testes first of all they are the oval shaped organs. They just lie below the abdominal cavity. Abdominal cavity na kela girathe. So there are two testes. So it help in forming the sperms and also releasing the male sex hormone called as testosterone. So next the testes stain agarathe. So the testes is present in the bag like structure which is called as a scrotum. So this is helping to protect the testes and it also prevent the body from external temperature. That means it gives the correct temperature for the testes. Moving to next epididymis. So the sperms which has been formed in the testes. Okay. So this is a coiled tubular like structures epididymis. So the sperms which has been formed in the testes what happened? It will store in the epididymis when it is matured. Next moving to vas difference. This is a tube like structure. So it carries the sperms when it is released from the testes. Okay, and it is connecting to the urinary bladder. Next, seminal vesicle and pro seminal vesicle and prostate gland they add their secretions. Okay, seminal vesicle add the viscous fluid, prostate gland add the milky fluid, which help in the mobility. That means movement of sperm. And finally, penis it help in passing the both urine and also the male gamete, which is called a sperm, through it. So this is what and this one also I have explained you. So Tumba deep agi explained Madhini lesson Ali. Hope you have understood. So now I'm just revising the answers in model paper. Moving to next 37 question. question. A tall pea plant bearing the red color flowers is crossed with the dwarf pea plant bearing the white color flowers. See capital T, capital T, capital R, capital R is crossing with small t, small t, small r, small r. So, F1 generationally namge barantadu, capital T, small t, capital R, small r. So, bandanta e alinna naveen madviku, segregate madviku to write the F2 generation. Segregate heg madviri, see. We got capital T, small t, capital R, small r. Right? So, we segregate like this. Capital T, capital R, capital T, small r. Then, small t, capital R and small t, small r. So, you know, 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 checker board only same thing mentioned. So, this is what we have We just now multiply. So, checker board na bariyo do. Every step of it, you have to do it. Post maadvi ni aariti checker board pari beko nta. Do watch that video. Definitely you will understand it. And if you want link of that also, I will be given in the description box. So, this is how we get when we write the F2 generation. So, ratio remains same. 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. So, in my textbook, nali round yellow and wrinkled green. It will just end on the traits and a change. But ratio of F2 generation remains same. So, moving to next question. See, you have to mention this also. Next on option, what is speciation? Mention the factors which could be lead to the rise of new species. So, speciation is very simple. Origin of new species from the existing species, we will call it as speciation. Okay. So, in new species form, there are certain important steps or factors which lead. So, they are natural selection, genetic drift, geographical isolation and mutation. And all these are the mechanism of evolution. Tumba simple question and simple answer is there. So, I will explain this. So, this is what the answer for it. And finally, four mark question, they have given human brain diagram and they have asked to mention cerebrum and cerebellum. Human diagram na, yes, too simple agi, two minutes al bari bodo unta, video dali naam explain maadi dini. To, so, don't forget to watch that video. So, here you want to draw the diagram of human brain and mark cerebrum and also the cerebellum. You will get four mark. Okay, two marks for diagram, two marks for labeling. So, four marks you will get. I hope students, this video will explain more than the model answers. You can help me. If you find this video useful, do share the video with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel. In the next video, I will be posting the physics key answers of science model question paper 2022. So until take care, study well. So until take care, study well. All the best for your examination.